Hi, I'm John Branningham, and this is Thinking About Wilfred Owen. I was thinking about Wilfred Owen today, the poet from World War I, who wrote about gas and trenches and the humiliation of fighting in a battle, and who died a week before Armistice Day. There was a time in my life when I read everything he wrote and decided to write my PhD dissertation about him, before I decided to write about someone else, and then someone else, and then I dropped out of the PhD. I was thinking about him and the time I spent loving his clean description and the beauty of his humanity. I thought of him because a friend was telling me about unmanned drones, the drones that fly raids over Iraq and Afghanistan by people on bases who have remote control of them, and how if the person with the control loses contact with the drone, it, it is programmed to come back to base. It doesn't self-destruct or crash into the ground. It simply turns around and flies itself over the Mediterranean or Old Carthage or wherever it is, and through the gentle skies above the Atlantic and lands itself on the runway where it waits patiently for someone to take care of it. And I suppose I might have made some kind of maudlin declaration about how Owen would have reacted to the drone and the way, we, way it works without the need for human interaction, but somehow I stopped thinking of Wilfred Owen. And I didn't think of the pilot who had lost track of the plane, sighed and shook his head, and went out to the commissary for a cup of cough, coffee and the daily candy bar that he thought of as his own secret treat. Instead, I thought of a man who must wait on the runway for orders, and who had been ordered to take care of the drone when it came back. I thought of him taking the drone into some kind of hangar, and I thought of the care he took of it as he washed it down, the way he used to wash down that first car he bought when he was 17, and he had his first real job. I thought of him lost in a dream of how wonderful it was to own that car, and how he smiled a little while polishing it, and we all do that when we're doing little chores. I do that when I'm cleaning up my office and putting away my books, and I think about that PhD I realized I didn't want. And you can bet the, the man who lost track of the drone dreams as he eats his candy bar. He comes back to that candy bar every day because his mother gave him one once when he did something good. And now she's gone, but she still ha he still has their tri ritual. I wonder if Wilfred Owen did something like that on, on his last day, polishing a rifle and thinking about the little Shropshire house where his girlfriend lived. Maybe she had only, maybe she had looked at him shyly while her father called to her. Maybe she had moved her fingers in a little wave that only Wilfred could see.